yeah, we're uh, ready to jump back into some more community chambers, starting off with this one from Seven Silhouette. It is Traverse Tower. Sonny's in the chat. What's going on, Sonny? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Um, short and easy puzzle makes use of both cubes as well as some clever thinking to reach the exit. I've been gone for a bit, but I would like to give a concentrated effort to start making test chambers again. This map is a hello of sorts to see how the community is doing. Hello, Seven Silhouette. We're doing well, thank you. Difficulty is between one and three uh, compared to their other maps. Logic based, no challenging inputs are required. And as we've seen occasionally with Seven Silhouette maps, the um, there is some different awards there for the use of certain portals. So, um, yeah, let's uh, jump back in. you got to form your sour dead bro. Uh, sour, 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 sour dead bro. <laughs> Sour bread dough, even. Uh, back in a bit, no worries, Mika. And take care of the bread, my friend. It's an important thing. All right, so we have some stuff and things. Interesting. So we've got a cube here for a light bridge, cube there for a laser. And some buttons or something up there. I don't know if we can blindly do anything there, but we'll head down to here. There is our exit, so I'm guessing light bridge for the exit. So there I see a companion cube. I also see a portal. Something blind that we could have done there with the laser. And then we're gonna need the light bridge for this one. Okay, excellent. So let's get um, let's get it started. Get it started in here. So, gives us a cube. Pick up the cube because I'm lazy to walk. And then I'm going to want the light bridge. And we're not going to want to go there. Go over to here. Drop back down to here. Pick up the light bridge from here. Again, too lazy to walk, so we'll just do that. Excellent. That wasn't planned so much, but uh, okay, all's good. Um, so we can walk over here, and there is our exit. So we are going to then to exit. We are simply going to want to set up the laser in the right place and cause that to respawn. So um, let's get rid of that, put this in place there because that's going to be our last portal shot. We can jump through here, through here, leave that one there. Walk across here. Fire the laser there. And we are home and dry. Nice little chamber indeed. Nice little chamber. To get us off and running tonight. Before we jump into the next one. Which is a passion fruitless from Seven Silhouette. This is the one. This is the one. Well, I've been nagged, been nagged at for weeks and weeks and weeks to be playing. And uh, you have a little bit of um, rearranging, shall we say. We're getting to it. So the main testing element for this chamber, a laser funnel and three cubes, two redirections and one later. Very difficult test chamber using traditional moves and logic. Nothing obscure or challenging to perform is intended. It might be wise to save your progress as you play. I've spent quite some time attempting to remove solutions I wouldn't consider valid. Thank you. Except wish. However, there is at least one unintended solution I was unable to remove, which is a method that is generally considered unacceptable by the community. So if you find yourself doing anything that feels weird or awkward, it's absolutely unintended, and I implore you to find another way. Any laser angles you find are legit. However, there shouldn't be anything too tight, out of view, or overly complex. I'd also like to give a mention to Deathwish808 for testing the map. He normally would test all of my maps for me but he gave this one special attention for which I am very thankful. The difficulty rating is between seven and 10 of uh, Seven Silhouette's normal difficulty. No ninja moves required. This isn't, 
This isn't the hardest puzzle ever made, but it might be the hardest puzzle that I've created, especially when speaking of logic. All righty then, let's jump to it, shall we? This could be the stream, guys. This could be the rest of the stream. All right, so what do we got here? We got a lot of stuff going on in there by the looks of it. We have a cube dropper that is reversing the polarity of the funnel, I think. We'll soon find out, I'm sure. As we go and get Zikub. Yes, it does indeed reverse the polarity. The polarity? It re I can't speak tonight. It reverses the polarity of the punnel. Of the punnel. Just, just give me a second. I need to put my tongue back in. That's better. I should be able to uh, pronounce my words now. Uh, all right. So, um, not really sure how all this helps. I guess that fizzler will be disabled at some point, and I am assuming. It's going to be useful to send the laser through here so that we can actually use it on the other side of this fizzler until we uh, open it up later on. The flarity of the pull indeed. All right, so we are over here. Easy chamber, doors open, we're out. We're done. Sit up, exit doors open, we are out. Oh, wait. Um, all right, so where can we go from here? Let's have a look. Let's settle down and focus a little bit. Ah, that's what um, removes that from there. So now we can bring the funnel across. However. know that that's what we're going to need to do at the moment, just for the simple fact that we can't see the funnel from this location here. The obvious thing to say here would be... All, all, all angles are legit was the memo. I wonder if there's a way we could portal over there. The issue being, if we do that anywhere over there, we're going to lose access to that fizz. So I think it's definitely going to be the way forward from here. What we could probably do is easily do this. Okay. This is going to open a panel down below. I've also just noticed there is a panel up there. So, um, it's going crazy. Hey, Dan. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so that's now open that. And from here, I guess we can jump over to here. Probably should have saved before I uh, move these portal surfaces, but... Okay, so we've got another thing here. So we're going to need the funnel to push across over to there. And now we can now go and explore what's down here in this... ...surface here, which uh, isn't a lot. It isn't a lot. Alright. The more I explore this map, the more it scares you. Yeah, it's, um... <clears throat> so, funnel. We need a funnel. They... Okay, so they're both reflection cubes. That's interesting to note. Uh, why is that interesting to note? Well, what we could have done here, we 
could have actually done something like that, couldn't we? If we'd have kept the portal surface before. So that's the orange cube. Let's do something like this for now. I'm guessing you want the laser to come through here. But well, you're going to need both cubes with the laser here pointing over to there, if I can. It said the other cube was a standard cube, right? Yes, standard weighted. So yeah, we need that weighted cube. What I'm thinking is, we'll go and respawn this cube over here. We'll go through here, and we will... Welcome back, Mika. Okay, so we do this. Now we're going to want to do a portal. Go through. Just for safety, I'm going to put the portal here. Fair. We're going to move it like to here. Then we can adjust this one, like so. Okay. I think, though. We would stand a better. Uh, I was going to say, I think we'd probably stand a better chance of doing stuff here if we could set this up portalless. So, okay, let's ignore what I said previously. And instead, we will take this cube to here. Yeah, I saw you played the map crazy, thank you very much. Uh, I haven't got around to watching the uh, the playthrough yet, though. Uh, thank you very much to uh, you and for everybody who's played. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, this is where... So I think the... To me, it, on the early game, to me it seems like the 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 thing to find here, or the, the key thing to find that will unlock a lot of things, is um, the funnel. Like working out how to use the funnel is going to be key here. You started making a new one earlier. Nice. It's nice, nice. Okay, so. Um, I didn't think there was a way. Okay, so is there a way that I could maybe maybe To the funnel. I would need to do what? I would need a way to guarantee this cube getting back 
to aim over to there if this was to work. And that would all hinge on an angle I could get from here. Oh, I tried using portals. This game has portals. What? What? This game has portals? What are you talking about? What is this madness? What's going on, Seven Silhouette? Hope you're well. Already smashed one of your maps out of the park tonight. We're going to try and do the same with the next. Are you still struggling with uh, Miss Mika? It's, uh, sorry to hear that. But how could I, from there, um, to be fair though, what, what benefit would it do for me? Benefit would it do for me? That what sort of a sentence is that? Jeez, like my tongue is like completely elsewhere tonight. I swear down. My sentence structure is awful. And that's a kind of thing, but it doesn't. A, it doesn't help me, and B, that seems very cheaty. So I'd rather not use that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The task at hand here is cube, cube. Funnel on the portal, funnel up there, funnel across there, I believe. So for doing that, the issue is I can't... It's not going to work there, is it? Because we need to... And we can't do it that way. We can't do it that way because... We would only have a reverse funnel if we're using both the cubes on there. We wouldn't be able to reverse the funnel. So that's not the answer. Shoot blue, orange, blue until I get out. I failed, I did orange, orange, sorry. This solution is beyond me. So, um, step one, how do we get up to there with a reverse funnel, uh, sorry, a forward funnel, like in this situation, but be up there. So... I think the, the method I was just talking about momentarily, um, where this panel was open and we funneled up here into the funnel then across would only come later, if it is a part of the move, when we have that cube there already. Yeah. 
why we would need to do that. Um, what if we do that? We can go up to there, respawn the cube, portal there, leave them set up on lasers, take the cube. The cube's going up to there, so we might get dragged back. Depends where these lasers are. And that other cube is. Okay. Yeah, um. Using the funnel here is definitely the, um. Using the funnel, or how to use the funnel properly, is the key. It's the key. It's the secret. <gasps> okay, so what if, what if, what if, what if? Instead, we had both of these cubes. Put them back over here. the hydrate iron. Okay. What if there was a way to What if there was a way to exit and win? That would be awesome. No way to fling here. Doing that pretty much reverses everything we've done up to this point, so it doesn't particularly help me. That's intriguing though, the fact that that isn't there. Very interesting to me. All hinges though on whatever I can do. Yeah, so it would all hinge on keeping a portal high there, which I don't think I can do. I shoot the wrong portal. I guess I did. Foolish of me. through do anything of course Okay, um, I don't know why it would help, but I could do something like, Yeah. 
If only I could get, like, that cube to... No, that wouldn't work though, would it? Um, sorry, thinking out loud. Okay, uh, potential idea. Uh, no, it's uh, just over a thousand days since I made my last puzzle and I, I released the feral. Crazy. Didn't you just, didn't you recently discover Portal 2 campaign for the first time, Deathwish? I seem to remember, um, I remember a live stream, I think it was, he was doing and... I'm sure you discovered it for the first time, right? Okay, um, focus a minute. Let's focus. Um, so I want to do... I want to be... Okay, that opens that. Now, my idea was something along the lines of... Get the funnel here. And do that. I don't know if that's really what I wanted to do. I can easily get around that. Ah. Yeah, that's definitely not what I wanted to do. Given that you said you spend multiple hours uh, playtesting it and whatnot, Deathwish, I find it very difficult to. Uh, I think I'll find it difficult to do anything you ended up doing, if I'm honest. Or didn't do. Alright, okay, I, I don't know about this, but. I have a safe spot here. I just need to drop this cube. Yeah, but the issue now is I've dropped the cube, but I would want the funnel to go across to there. I had the funnel to go across to there. Okay, just hear me out a minute. If I had the funnel to go across to there... Alright, see you later, crazy. Have a good one, mate. Um... Funnel. Is there a way that I could then drop this in front of there to push myself back over here? Still wouldn't help me for getting up to there though, would it? Still not helping there. I was hoping coffee had the answer, but I don't believe it does. Shame that. Yeah, I don't know where I don't know where I was going to go with that, but the idea would have been push that out. Push that out, drag me through. Mm. 
Or maybe. That's a thing I could do. With the cubes in the other positions. Okay, that's progress. Okay, I can see what I can do now. I got something. I got something. So we want a cube swapper room. There you go. Then that there. This one. We can go over to here. We have now portalus across the uh yeah, portalus up to here, save there. Then we're gonna wanna do that. That that Okay, but, 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 there's always a but, there's always a but, we can come through here, and we can, I think that's a good move, but it doesn't answer a question here. I was thinking what I could then do. Um, I don't particularly want to save here, but I can do. So we, yeah, my thought process here. We then oh, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's all right. So we respawn that cube. That one also gets respawned. And we position the stuff here and here. Which would then open the portal on that side. And... Yeah, that's where it sort of falls over, isn't it? Let's open that, but to utilize that now, we would need the normal funnel, the blue funnel. Push ourselves across there, push ourselves up there, which is why we need that cube first. So we're still left with the, the question, how, how, just how? So I can go through here. And then we're stuck. We're not stuck, of course, but we then have to respawn a cube to get back. Yeah, that respawns. Let's drop down, and then we're back just to square one. So. Where do we go now? Where do we go now? Where do we go now? It's definitely both of these that are required, isn't it? Yes. Oh! Oh, yes. Um, wait a second. I may have been dumb. May have been dumb. May have been dumb now. Why am I thinking? Okay, so yeah, this is... Um, this could be something. Why do I think I need to send me up to there? Why could I not send the cube over to there? I could stand on the bottom. So I could stand, I could stand on the button. The cube on the other button. 
But still doesn't answer the question of... Oh, wait a second. Hold the phone. Maybe. Just maybe. Okay. Give me a cube. Please. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this in the wrong way. Let's just go back. All right, so uh, we need to do that. I oh, know I did need to respawn the cube. I absolutely, positively, 100% need to respawn that cube, which is a shame. It's a shame. I was going to take that song. Shame Wreck does not hear. Alright, so let's set this up. Uh, I don't actually think I want the cube swap now. Talk about being like in two minds about things. Okay, let's take this. I need to set this cube down first. We need to set this up portalless. And then... Hmm. You know what? I think I did need to... Oh, man, I'm so confused. I think I did need to swap the cubes. Yeah, I, I should have just left him where there was. Because, 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 um, yeah, what I should do here is simply that's there, so then I can do that, respawn that cube, oh yeah, that's why I, uh, that's why I did that, wasn't it? Bomber. The idea here would have been if I get both cubes over there, I could have simply done that, walk back through, put that there, and then cube on there, push that across, and that would have respawned that. Did get to a point where I had both cubes in, in this side. Now I just need to remember how I did that. I think the thing that's, um, I think what stops it though, unfortunately, is the fact that, wait a second, I, could I not just do that, then spawn the cube? Maybe. I said maybe, maybe, please, but I just don't know now. It seems very cheaty to me. Adding on buttons is not going to be intended. Oh, yeah, that sounded better in my head before it came out of my mouth. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a code yikes right there. That's a code yikes. 
brought a tear to Fumbly's eye. Oh, you know what? There is a much better way to do this. Uh, maybe. Twitch Sing stream. Is Twitch Sing still a thing? Standing on. That's not intended, right? Yeah, I did that, but the, my, the what what put me off doing that was the fact that when it did it, it sort of rolled off the side. Um, I guess I could combat that, though. Yeah, okay, I can combat that. I could just put the portal here for a start instead. And then it'll just fall and hit the grating. Okay. Saved. Oh, wait. That didn't land on the button, did it? Because it just reversed the funnel straight away. There we go. Much better. Okay. We have three cubes now. Huzzah! Okay. Big progress. Okay. Okay. So now we have three cubes. We need to contemplate some of those three cube strats we were talking about previously. Three cube strats. So. What more could you ask for? Three cubes, a funnel, and a reversible funnel, and a laser. Okay, so next oh, we need bang and bang. Bang and bang. Bang. So, would this now not be what I did before? Not like I remember what I did before, but... Well, we do something like this to reverse the funnel. Although, we, before we do that, we need to actually get the funnel itself. I think this is maybe where I need to do a cube swap again before I tackle this segment here. But in essence, uh, 
That's a thing. Yeah, do we need to cube swap again? Perhaps. Why would we want to cube swap? Because we could then pull ourselves across there, respawn the orange, which would then give us a blue back when we've got that laser pointing over to there, push ourselves across to here. That panel will be open. We can push ourselves up and then put a portal on there. Maybe. Maybe, baby. All right. Let's play this out. I don't know why that song came into my head. It's got nothing to do with playing it out, but... Funnel, check. Doesn't matter where we put that, because we're going to respawn it. Okay. Cube respawned. Check. Panel opened. Check. Okay. Now. Think carefully. carefully about what we could do here. We could. What's going on, money? How you doing? Uh, we could. Aim for here. Uh, all right. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and create a safe spot. So, I'm going to go here. We're going to come across here. Then going to do that and cause a respawn back to us over here. Uh, excuse me. All the funky B mod buttons. Yikes. Okay, so from here, we're kind of trapped, or, well not trapped, but we're stuck. Cubes here, what can we do with the portal cubes here? Um, we didn't necessarily need to respawn. We could have the pole surface over here line up with this. Um, 
kinda. I almost think our task at hand is put on there. On there. I almost think we need to drag ourselves back across there for some reason. Let's backtrack slightly. What if we look back at this move here momentarily? Okay. My thought process here was I could have done like bang bang open that doesn't really help me though. This I feel like we need to we need to have a reverse funnel at this point. Alright, Mika, no worries. Have a good night. Enjoy that sourdough bread. And uh, good luck with your thesis again. Thanks for the uh, 11 months as well, Mika. Absolute legend. This one's for you. Um, golf clap? No, sir. That is not a golf clap. I assure you. <laughs> so, yeah, if we had a reverse funnel here... Pull ourselves through with that there. It would then come down to portal management. So if we had the reverse funnel. Reverse funnel, respawn the cube. Reverse funnel. Respawn the cube. Go over to there. We need to respawn the cube first. Then cause a reverse funnel. But how would we do that? The only way to cause a reverse funnel would be to respawn a cube. 
Ah. Okay. So, I may have been a bit hasty. Is there a way? Is there a way? I'm sure there is a way. But I need the weighted cube. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I need the weighted cube in the laser area, not here. Um, what's going on, T Span? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. So, yeah, so by having the weighted cube there instead of the laser cube, we then. Um, bang bang. Go up there, onto there, jump on the button, we respawn that cube, it comes across to. No. It's there. Bang bang. Okay, I think I've almost worked this out. I think I've almost worked this out. Okay, so let's first and foremost bring this cube back. The only thing I am nervous about Actually I don't need to be nervous about it at all. Guess what? We need to do another cube swap. Swap, it's a whole lot of fun. Prizes to be won. There's a reference to a classic 90s UK TV show. Loved that as a kid. I mean, I'm totally not that old. What am I talking about? Okay, so we do that, we do that. Now we need to go and position that cube in front of the orange cube. Uh, just like that. We then need a portal on the funnel. Boom. Did I overlook something? Quite possibly, yes. Yes, I am 90 years old and don't I look good for a 90 year old. Well, it was all looking good momentarily. It was looking mo good momentarily until I realized I can't get the blue cube over here using this method. is tray unfortunate.
Let me just run through the idea that I had. Um, actually, before I do that, let's just re let's go back slightly, reset this up. Reset this up instead, of course, set this up again. So again, my English is on point tonight. Is the room? Hold on, let me let me save there a minute. Time to play. Let's pretend we knock with a couple of companion cubes. What if? This was to happen, and and a cube exists down there. It can, but I'm guessing that's a no. Let's take that thought straight out of my head. Oh, you should see that. You should see what I uh, end up doing with the cube on some, the uh, smoke and mirrors map, fumbly. I feel sorry for that cube. These thoughts are not playtester approved. Please try again. Alright, so it sort of explained where I was gonna go with that one. I wondered if I could get for some if I could get the weighted cube into there. Works so I didn't have a portal there anyway. Uh yeah, just ignore that. Right, but the the idea here, right? So just to run through my idea, now this here, this one would go over here. We would then go up here, cross to here. Then jump to here, and then to here, jump out of the funnel, and go and get this cube here. However, there's a big flaw with this, whereby we can no longer get back to the laser without losing the portal there, and we need we would need to keep that portal there. Oh. 
Come on, Mike. How you doing? But we don't even have a uh, we don't even have a legitimate way to get to that point that moment just yet. So um, yeah, we we don't need to worry about that too much. Not humming in chat. I hereby sent in Maestro to five minutes of I don't know. Five minutes of what? Five minutes in the naughty corner. You are hereby sentenced to a timeout resulting in one second. <laughs> I need to, um, I need to refocus momentarily. I'm not sure that, um, sure that the whole um, get in the weighted queue big progress thing though has really helped me too much. It's in the funnel pole. A funnel. So, um, just think, 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 think. thinking about, but let's think. How do I? How do I? Um, across here.
I mean, that's how I can go get these, both these cubes to here. Which is all gravy. Now, how would I get that into there? And then how would I return whilst being up here? Is it even possible to do that? And this is why I thought about... Um, using that panel, because I thought if I had a portal on the panel, I could juggle Hold on, if I had a portal on that panel, I could juggle the cube yeah, I had a haircut probably about two weeks ago That. um I was down. I was down in my office Monday, Tuesday this week, and uh, we had uh, company photos. So I thought I best make an effort and get my hair cut. Yikes! Get heated, son. All right, let's. Backtrack a little. Yeah, there's nothing here that will work for me, I don't think. What I'd almost be hoping for here is a way to... Clearly he does it himself. He never said he was good at it. Hence why it's taken him, you know, three plus years so far. Either that or, he, or Death Wish is like secretly a, a long-haired punk rocker. Come through here with a cube. That would do what? Not much. Alright, uh... What can we do differently now we have a third cube? Build a tower. That is very true. I thought I was confident of like how we set up the exit, and now. I'm not. I mean, I guess we need to pull there and there. I 
And if we had a way back through to here, then I'm guessing we could just set that like that and that. And the key would be here and we'd take this one through. So... I need to reverse the funnel. That's a given. But I need to do it in a position to get to here. just let's play everybody's favorite game let's pretend we knocked it uh all right so we would have done this this and this we'd have got to here and we push ourselves across there of course we don't use the right portal so we're failing miserably okay so we get to here so landing on here So we could do this. We can then pull the cube through there. Then I can. Ah, oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? Not necessarily, actually. Not necessarily. So we could do that. We could do that. Then pull that through there. Come back through here. And that would give us a portal there. And it would also cause that to do that. We could respawn the blue cube, because that would be over there. Just got to think, at this point, at this point here, both the laser cubes would be sat there and there, right? So we could respawn the blue. We could respawn the blue. And point it to you. Okay. Okay, let me think about this. If I respawn the blue, let me just respawn. Let's, let's put both keys where they would have been. Okay. Ah, can I get out of no clip, please, game? Thank you. That's what you get for cheating. Let's imagine that's pointing there. We have this one over here. We've just done the thing with the thing, and we got through to here, and we dropped down, brought the cube with us, and we put this here. Assuming I haven't done anything wrong that cheats, we then take... Okay, so we then do... Cube through to there... Take this back. This one then goes to here. Now, the final issue would be then, how do we laser catch that cube there? Because how about we guess? I can't see that.
I feel that's kind of on the right lines. Kinda. But the issue is, I don't believe we've legitimately found a way to get both cubes. Over to that side where the two buttons are. To even start that maneuver, that sequence of moves. Um, Which is why a Spawn in that cube, drop that one, give me a fall back across to there. So there, but no way to get that again. So I really thought that like there'd be an angle across from here to there. No way for me to shoot that from up here. There's an angle there to there if I could open that up. Does that help? Can I stand on this without falling off? No. So that doesn't help.
I feel like the weighted cube has to be in there blocking the laser. So, how do I get both of the laser redirection cubes onto these two buttons on the left hand side and at the same time keep a portal on the funnel. That is the $64 million pound question. And it's a doozy. And then even doing that, what even can I achieve from there? Because I feel like once I've got a portal in the top area up here in the exit, then the focus will shift to management around that portal. I'm pretty sure there's at least two people in the chat that know the answer. You know what? I probably didn't even do that. If I was smart about this, I know, me smart. Um, I'd probably done something like this. I completely miss, of course, but. Maybe I wouldn't, because it's uh, doesn't appear to want to work. All right, so do that. See that from there.
Yeah, it's just gone down a complete dead end. Spawn, put that over there. Okay. Do that so it's not so much of a yikes angle. The angle isn't so yikes. Is yikes though now? Is. I don't have access to the funnel. So this is kind of like back to. Almost back to square one, isn't it? This isn't the real life, this is just fantasy. I'm not seeing the move here. Uh, much like I'm not... Doing a lot of things. Obviously, I could take this through to here. We 
which would give me this. Then ideally I would want the funnel. This would be like almighty cheese, I think. Uh, plus it wouldn't help me, I don't think, because then I would lose Paul on the inside. What I was thinking was like doing something like, trying to do something like this. Bye bye. I could cheese the cube down. Here was me thinking that once we got the third cube, things would be easier. Boy, how wrong I was. I've not really had any like concrete thoughts either about like how we set up the ending, which is um, worrying. Obviously, I had that thought process of doing that with the weighted cube. The, the headache, the headache I get is cubes. Laser cubes to buttons. I'm 99% I'm sure the laser cubes need to be on the button so I can go up there, respawn the weighted cube. run through some stuff again. So we have that. Somehow we've got this set up here. We do this. Failed. Then drop off here. Jump in the funnel. Across to here. Pick out this cube.
don't know that we need to reverse the funnel, but we will take this cube, put this on the button. Respawn this cube. We need to send it up to the top. Take this back through to here. This is this is the this is the part where I'm like, ah, uh, but yeah. Because um though maybe not, because I could maybe do needs to be like a ridiculous angle like this and I don't, still don't think that would work. No, because I'm going to be in the wrong freaking way like a donut. Here I am thinking um, we would need yeah okay so that's that's how we get to the exit. So I, I need to work out then how just to get the two laser cubes in position. Hmm? Impulse, right? Simples. So, how do we get two laser cubes into the positions? Okay. Um... You have offended Dido Killer. Seven silhouette. They have served you. So one thing that could be done is this. But then, yikes, we're there and the cubes there and... Oh! That's it. Time for cube swap seven hundred sixty-eight thousand five hundred thirty-two. Let's cube swap with not din din din. I really need to get that jingle recorded. Oh 
Okay. Laser. Save. Reverse funnel. Boom. Drag me across. Boom, 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 boom. And just for safety, put that there. Then. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. No, I'm booming, but we're booming. Both portals, both laser cubes are here. Check. Now let's see if we can remember how to finish this off. Um, a bit more of an angle. Do I sound sure enough? I'm not really sure if the pitch of my voice portrays it enough. There we go. I'm sure I could have angled that better. But there we go. We did it. Yeah, that's um. That laser cube move is pretty sneaky. Pretty sneaky. Um, I know some solvers and some puzzle players might not agree with like the way I kind of skip forward a bit and work out further bits of the puzzle, but I really do find that it kind of like helps to identify and solidify um, thoughts and theories about how the solution should go. So. Hopefully uh, people aren't too uh, uh, fussed about that. But uh, yeah, no, that's a cool puzzle. Cool puzzle. Wasn't, if I'm completely honest, wasn't as difficult as I was expecting it to be. Uh, but it was still quite tricky. I honestly thought we might be here for like a, a couple of streams on that one, given that it was a seven, between seven and 10 difficulty. Uh, but yeah. Thank you all that much. Very cool map indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I give a thumbs up. All right, next up in line uh, from here is uh, Bridge Climb and Drop on Nintendo Urk. Skip. I want to view in the workshop. Uh, not the easiest map, I guess. Made with hammer. P2 map publish is broken for me, so I use Puzzle Maker to upload this. Comments are disabled. I have no reason for that. I have my reasons for that. Sorry. All right. List of maps. Interesting. What did Urk do here? Did he um, made it in hammer and then published it using Puzzle Maker? Is that what you're saying here? Interesting. Mm. 
This map is funny. Check what everything does. Okay, we have a laser. So you all know that's American for laser. Yeah, we need to do that. Now how do we get back? Because we need to activate that button. Now I need to get back on there. Most perplexing. Most perplexing indeed. Now, we've broken everything. We need to go all the way back because there is no escape without going through the fizzler. Excellent. So, let's think about what we're going to do here. But clearly there's something going on with the order of events here. that okay it's not that that kind of seems a bit counterproductive not gonna lie that's a terrible idea on my behalf I just feel like from here... Will we not move the cube? bridge to go across to there and across to there. How does that work? How does this work? Has to be that and that. That has to be that chain of events there. And surely that goes onto there.
man, you're always handing out the fines, Adam. Seriously. Jeez, cut me some slack. I earn like, I earn like what, $80 off Twitch once in a blue moon. And you're slapping fines like that on me? Holy cow. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to do this. I don't know what I'm doing. Clearly the exit move. Just kidding. It's only This is the connection, right? Yeah. Well, honestly and truthfully, I don't see it. Surely I need to, whatever I do, I need to do it from the on the light bridge, right? So there's no way to turn the light bridge off.
some red herrings. I mean, like everything in the map is a red herring. Um, but this is not your traditional Nintendo work map at all. I just thinking, could I like take the cube through, respawn the cube somehow? I don't even know if it auto respawns, does it? It does auto respawn. playing with that rot cipher again. Maybe the maybe the trick in this map is that um, the water's not actually deadly, and I can just walk on water straight across the exit. Maybe everything else in the map is a red herring. Oh, we've shot. That would have been hilarious. Um, okay. Um. I've expected it to work. I don't see. A, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for here because I don't know how to move the cube off that button. Doesn't use a rot cipher. Okay.
I honestly don't. I honestly, I can't. Th honestly, can't think of anything. You said that like, there's some red herring stuff here, right? So. Is it even right to this point? Oh yeah, I mean, you can't take away the hammer work. The hammer work is always great from uh, uh, Urk. have to jump from one bridge to another? Bridge climb drop. Come on, Coco. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's, um, it's not the sort of thing you normally see from Urk. It is, of course, the sort of thing you normally see from me because um, everybody knows I can't jump. My space bar's broken still. I'm sure there's probably an easy way if I'd have, um, so let me just go back a minute. I'm sure if I'd have, like, put the bridge nearer.
Nothing at all. I don't know why I was just like trying to. I try to do this like a really stupidly complicated way, of course, because I'm that's what I do. But I could have just dropped that on there in the first instance. What? Uh okay. 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 I uh, no no, but why can't I place my orange port like higher? That's... I don't know. Look at that, first time. Easy map. <laughs> Jeez. That was something. Not what I expected from Urk at all, to be honest. Um, all right, what have we got? I don't know. Maybe that'll do us for tonight. It depends what we got next. And we got time for a fumbly bumbly map. Maybe. All right, last one. One more. We'll go for a fumbly bumbly map and then. Um, we will call it because A, I'm pretty tired, and B, it's getting cold in my office. Uh, this is Drawback by Fumbly. This is an easy, easy to medium difficulty. This is a take on own puzzle Tio shared with me some time ago, which I subsequently be became involved with. This, well, whoops, okay. whilst this variation wasn't usable with the original design, it wasn't, it was functional in its own right, and thus we agreed on publishing it. Let's speak now. TO's work formed the core of the collaboration, and as such, I'd like to extend a personal thank you to him for founding this map. We hope you enjoy. Uh, what is what such a comment? Your feedback is appreciated. Keeps. SQL. Really should inst uninstall SQL. It's not a big enough surface to portal onto. Gotcha. Uh, they can't go back from here. Interesting. Right, interesting. There is a portal up there though, so let's go and try that one. Pull across to there.
Alright, we got some funky stuff going on here. That is quite unfortunate. And they're doing that, I seem to be a bit stuck. A surface down here. is the master at uh, nice looking chambers. So, question. And it may just be that I'm like getting tired, but about this. Opened a fizzler. Stopped a funnel. Spawned a cube. Which was bootstrapped. So this laser, that button also turns on, that's all from here isn't it, so this turn does that, which turns, spawns that, because it goes through there it turns that on, which then hits that, which hits face that to turn that on, which stops the funnel, <sighs> which spawns the cube, jeez, okay. Um, next question, how do I undo that? I think I see something. Oh, maybe I need to stay on the button. Yeah, I need to stay on the button. Then from there, there's a portal there. Then stand on this bottom briefly. If 
that'll then allow me to go over to this side and get the laser. It's American for laser. Okay. And place this. Place this here. Just for now, and that will stop that being turned off. Do that, but it will keep that one. It will keep that being spawned. For now. Okay. I'm not stubborn. I'm not st stubborn. I'm not stubborn. I'm not stubborn. I am determined. I hate to see things beat me. Alright, so let's now bootstrap a laser. Oh, okay, I should probably... Okay, let me fix this. What I should have done here then... Is turn this back on itself. It goes back through there and it bootstraps that. Okay. I think that's what I need to do. No. Okay. Ultimately, I need to be able to trigger this uh, laser and this cube being dispensed while I'm stood over there so I can catch the cube. Okay, just didn't wait long enough again. the rain again. Okay, so now I can respawn this queue, right? And I can take it over here. Okay. Save there. So what happened there? Do I do that? Maybe to there, or maybe I don't need to point it to anywhere, but maybe I just stop it from hitting that one across there. Okay, that didn't do anything. You're in my back garden or something like that because how do you know the rain it's just started raining here?
So next thing I need to, without hitting that, I need this to be over there, don't I? Okay, so can I, can I re-trigger this by quickly standing on here? Yes. Okay, so I'll take this over here. Then what am I doing? I would need to trigger this by that. Do I just put the cube on the button? That shouldn't cause that to... I think it will actually, yeah. Is it that? No, because then we need to... Do need to hit that. I don't... did before, sorry. Okay. And I can prevent this from happening here. This then becomes bootstrapped here. Is that right? That's that. Yes, yeah, so that should bootstrap that to there. Okay. Go and hit it again. problem there is when that flies over here intersects the path of the laser
But what if we aimed it there? Because then it might loop round. what this did. No, I hold on, I'm I'm completely right. I am right. Um Okay, let me respawn. Alright. Let me go back slightly to this I just need to wait longer on the button so then I would oh, this and there that and there I think now I come off here that's bootstrapped yes there we go okay So now, okay, now I have two cubes. Um, but, 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 I don't think that's right because. We need to open up the Fizzla. Could be right. Maybe. Maybe. Deathwish has uh, started the airboat competition. It's been a while. Get your guesses in if you want to be in with a chance of winning 10 whole American dollars. Seems a little rushed. Rushed and plus sequence of events. Uh, 
I'm going to say 55,422. The problem is with this... I need to turn it around and face it to there. There's, there's no way to do this with keeping the laser. Gotta hit that a second time. Gotta turn off laser collision if I'm gonna try and walk through a laser. Okay, come on. Alright, so that and that. There I wanna hit that. I don't even know if I've like got this cube the right way or not. At this point. So I apologize. This is not the correct way, Fumbly. But in effect, that's it. And the assumption of getting that cube correctly, that is it. Ah. Taking the funnel and throwing them down here. Uh, is somebody able to confirm or deny if that was the right thing to do? No, it's fine. Was that the right thing to do, though, Fumbly? I'm, I just wanted to make sure that that's the right move to get the weight, the, the standard cube. Okay, cool. It, it was a bit borderline, kind of... Uh, I, I felt it was borderline... I mean, you got plenty of time, I guess. But, yeah, borderline a bit cheesy, like turning it away and then hitting it again then come back around to here. I mean, there is plenty of time to get the cube from there. But, you know, I did just want to make sure that um, everything was a-okay. So, yeah, thanks for thanks for that one, Fumbly. I think it was tight. I just think it was a bit... I, I don't know how, what the best way to sort of describe it is. Um... Yeah, I say I don't know how to describe it, but um, there we go, guys. That is the stream. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out. We're just waiting on Deathwish to announce the final airboat count. See if anybody has won that ten dollars. But um, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. Fifty-two thousand eight hundred and fifty-four. I know it was near. 
swear down you was like on loads more than that before, but hey ho. Atom was spot on. He would have been if he'd have guessed another uh, another thousand. So yeah, good guess, Adam. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support. We're back tomorrow night with even more Paul to Community Chambers. Uh, it's a back-to-back -back stream, and then on the Monday we'll be starting the war final season of The Walking Dead. So um, yeah, that's what uh, is on this plan for the stream. Thanks everybody for hanging. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you are doing. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Happy gaming. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.